Shortly after it was revealed that Grace Dent had left I'm a Celebrity due to health issues, she had already departed Australia. It was disclosed on Monday that she had made the decision to depart after lost all her energy during camp and became overwhelmed by the thought of having to endure another Bush Tucker trial. Grace was seen returning to the UK and was photographed at Brisbane Airport three hours after the announcement was made. The 50-year-old culinary critic hurried through the airport with her head down, refusing to speak to the media. When Grace stood in line to check in, she was observed stroking her elbow repeatedly without cracking a smile. She was once caught using her phone as a mirror after raising fans' concerns with her seemingly ill appearance in the jungle. She wore her signature red lipstick and made the most of having her creature comforts back. Grace wore loose-fitting pants and a black vest top in a casual outfit for her train. Grace was taken down the escalator through a VIP entrance by her security team after check-in. An insider claims that Grace and show executives, who had stepped in after observing her obvious decline in camp, jointly decided on her jungle escape. Grace decided to leave the jungle soon after it was announced that she would be doing the latest Bush Tucker trial. A source close to the Master Chef star disclosed, the straw that broke the camel's back was realizing that she would be taking on yet another difficult task. They went on, it was decided that she would withdraw from the competition since it was obvious that she wasn't being herself and that she had lost all of her energy, despite the fact that she is normally witty and enjoyable to be around. It was appropriate for IDV's welfare and duty of care staff to intervene. She had suffered since moving into the camp with fewer facilities. This year's weather has been especially bad, and she found it more difficult than she had anticipated to not eat well as a restaurant critic. Grace is excited to see her loved ones now and will be fine after resting and recovering for a few days. Grace has had difficulties since beginning to record the pole position trial on Friday, November 24. She made a threat to leave the show last week. Grace Dent quit the show on Saturday, ITV announced in a statement that she had left for medical reasons. Both her fellow celebs and viewers will miss her, as she has been an excellent campaign. Grace and Josie Gibson were chosen to participate in Monday's Down the Tubes Challenge. Daniel Harold, the candidate who garnered the third most public votes, will now take her position in the trial. Grace's unexpected departure from the jungle coincides with fans' concerns expressed on social media, with one fan even going so far as to say they didn't recognize the often glitzy and exuberant Master Chef star. The restaurant reviewer has previously discussed her stringent diet, acknowledging that she just tries to keep a balanced diet, but I have to monitor every day how much food I have to eat for work, how many restaurants I have to go. A few weeks before her entry into the jungle, Grace said in an interview with Wales Online, I don't think I suit skiing. I immediately appear sick. I'm a rather voluptuous, curvaceous peren. I gain weight easily, so I have to watch what I eat extremely carefully. My family is made up entirely of individuals that are naturally between a size 16 and 18 in terms of size. That's how all the women in my family own. However, I am aware that I quit working out when I gain weight. I get depressed the moment I quit working out. After that, my health deteriorates and I run out of energy. Like practically other women, I have been obsessed with health since I was 9 years old. I have to pay close attention to what I consume. Regarding the cuisine in the bush, Grace acknowledged that even a culinary expert such as herself would find it difficult to season food without an abundance of herbs and spices. Everything is giving me a genuine feeling of dread, the woman stated. But because I work as a restaurant reviewer, I usually eat four or five fancy dinners out every week, so I am particularly afraid of being extremely hungry. She went on, foreshadowing what lay ahead for her in the jungle. I am afraid that I will be put through an even worse eating trial than I have experienced in upscale restaurants. I anticipate writing stiff columns about the food in the jungle when I emerge. Will I prepare food day? Sure, I can cook, but not in the traditional sense of the word, that is, not in the jungle. Since herbs and spices are what make food, I won't be using any of it. If there are no spices, I'm not sure how you're going to make an alligator's foot taste good. I am already picturing the dinner I will have as soon as I leave. I'm going to a pretty classy restaurant where I'll eat something nice and wear a beautiful dress. 
Grace continued, discussing her primary goal of entering the competition, saying, I'm just determined not to go out first, and I would be overjoyed if I could go a good distance. I don't want this program to change the course of my life after I graduate. This is such a terrific task, but I don't want anything changed at all. It's going to be enjoyable. Pole position, which required handing herself off a 32-story building, was Grace's first jungle advent. Fans were amazed by her cool and collected demeanor during the sequences, which were shot last Friday and aired on Sunday's launch end. However, last week's first group trial left viewers unimpressed, saying she couldn't give an F.A. Strix A. Strix A. Strix about the test. Grace seemed bored during the trial, which went by the name Locker Shocker, complaining that she couldn't find the keys to access her lock. Viewers, however, felt that Grace was being boring because she made no attempt at all, even after witnessing her efforts. Some others conjectured that she might be deliberately pretending not to be upset in order to avoid taking on the next Bush Tucker trial. The people chose her to participate in Friday's trial, the touchdown of terror, when she faced off against Nella Rose and ended up with an ear piercing. In the touchdown of terror trial, the food critic faced up against the 26-year-old YouTuber. Their coaches had to decide who would support them through this difficult job. However, as bugs were jammed into Nella's helmet, she was unable to handle the pressure, so the YouTuber pulled her emergency cord to terminate the trial. Grace shouted, There's one in my ear, and triggered the alarm as well. One is within my ear. I hear it, and it's not pleasant. Grace was examined by the medic after the challenge, who successfully flushed it out and verified its removal. She had already admitted to Josie that she was a scaredy cat, and to her fellow campers that she had had enough. I am so tired of this. All I want to do is get home. On Monday's broadcast of Lorraine, former campmate Jake Quickenden talked about Grace's unexpected departure from the jungle. I think she really struggled from day one, he pondered. Perhaps she wasn't prepared for the presence of such notable people around her. It is really intimidating and burdensome. There, it has been pouring with rain. Her other campers would have provided her with support, and she would have received a call from the Bush Tucker Telegraph asking how you were doing. So they give you a check-in. Perhaps she became too much for her to handle. Perhaps after receiving a vote, she feels that she is disliked. Sorry to hear Grace Dent has left Hasha Masaleb. She did not appear at all well yesterday and showed very little emotion when voted to undertake a trial. Fans posted on X upon the news of her departure. I hope she's doing well. Breaking, Grace Dent steps down, I'm a celebrity, get me out of Harry, face shown at last night. Grace Dent looked terrified that she was chosen to take on a challenge. So Hash Grassident had left Hash Masaleb, my favorite from the beginning. I knew her before. She had to resign due to medical reasons. I hope she receives all she needs. It's unfortunate that she doesn't seem to be enjoying herself. A. Grace opened up about her personal life before going into the jungle. She said she had lost both of her parents in the last four or five years and that she thought this would make her stronger on the show. The celebrity acknowledged that she had been through a really difficult time following the death of her mother to cancer and her time caring for her father, who had dementia, before they both went away. Now that I am older, life is for living which is one of the reasons why I said yes, she remarked, acknowledging that this would be a significant challenge. Grace is no stranger to the public eye. In 2020, she wrote in The Guardian on her father's struggle with dementia, saying, There is so much I want to say to Dad, but I can't bring myself to. I don't like to be left alone with Dad. Dementia is really awkward if it's not just painful and frightening, but embarrassing. But occasionally, I can detect fear in his eyes. Now and then, when Dad speaks, his brain catches up halfway through a nonsensical sentence, and that's when he realizes how completely absurd what he's saying is, and pure shame crosses his face. Grace, who was raised in Carlisle, attended Sterling University to enhance her studies and earned a degree in English literature. Dent began her journalism career as a feature writer for Cosmopolitan during her time in college. She had a very successful writing career after dropping out of college. She first worked as an editorial assistant for Vogue before going on to freelance for a number of magazines, including Marie Claire, Glamour, and others. 
In addition, she wrote about television for a dozen years, from 2000 to 2012, before joining The Independent. She contributed a restaurant column for the Evening Standard called Grace and Flavor for six years. The Guardian is the current employer of the food critic. Grace frequently judges people's food on TV programs. You may have seen her on MasterChef, The Professionals, Celebrity MasterChef, and MasterChef UK. She also served as a judge on the BBC's Great British Menu program. Grace, however, isn't just in the kitchen. She's been on a lot of shows such as Very British Problems, The Apprentice, You're Fired, and The Now Show on Radio 4. The culinary reviewer has also been on Charlie Brooker's Screen White, The Culture Show, Alan Davis, as yet untitled, Pointless Celebrities, and the review show Film 2012. In addition, Foodie Grace has written many books over the years. In 2008, she was included on the Queen of Teen Prize shortlist. Her teen fiction includes The Diary of a Snob, Diary of a Chav, and LBD series, How to Leave Twitter, My Time as Queen of the Universe and Why This Must Stop, was the title of her debut nonfiction book, which was released in 2011.